Hello everybody, welcome back for some more Space Games news. Star Citizen had its second quarterly update released. Alpha 3.6 is now available on the live server, introducing some new features to the alpha testing, as well as several other changes and fixes. Admittedly, a light update with its most important features including an overhaul of the criminality system, new hacking gameplay, hover mode and the ability to buy ships from ship purchasing kiosks inside ship shops. The criminality system has been reworked, introducing fines for natural important crimes like parking illegally up to squads of NPC chasing you if your crime stat is high. Depending on the severity of your crimes and your crime stat rating, authorities will act accordingly, introducing a Grand Theft Auto in space type of gameplay. It is also now possible to interdict you in order to scan for contraband. Hacking is done with the assistance of a single use device that can be found at various locations and shops. There are two versions of this device currently, a slower one but easier to use and a faster illegal one that requires constant input from the player. Hover mode has been added to the game. Whenever approaching the surface of a planet with an atmosphere, your ship will go into hover mode automatically. The exterior of the rest tabs has been reworked as well to make them look different and bigger. The interior remains the same. Shields have been reworked. Smaller size shields now stop generating on hit and will begin to regenerate again after a certain period of time without being hit. Larger shields have large health pools and regeneration rates, making more expensive ships overpowered basically. Misfire events were added to ship components and some FPS weapons can now bear attachments. By visiting a ship shop and interacting with a kiosk, you can directly buy the ships available there. Their price though is very high. Performance wise, Alpha 3.6 still suffers from the same issues of the previous updates. Stuttering at specific areas with frame drops when visiting places with a lot of other people. In my 2 hour session, the game crashed twice and 2 more times I had to kill it manually after my character died in game. Before I end the video, I have to mention the addition of multiple trains on loop per line on Hearthstone in an attempt to somewhat fix this horrible transit system and stop wasting everybody's time. Hopefully this is the first step to completely overhaul or even better remove this terrible idea from the game. This is everything I wanted to share with you today, please let me know what you think of this patch and if you are going to try Alpha 3.6. Thank you very much for joining me, I am Squid of Love and I will see you next time. Bye bye.